what's up? It's episode two of uh, Shed Tales, my little short video series for shed season. It is January 11th and I'm dying to go out and cover some miles, but it's a nasty day. It's freezing rain. We've got ice building up on the trees and everything here in Missouri. So good day to shoot a little quick video. What this video is going to be about, how to score a white tail antler and it's not Boone and Crockett. It's not, you know, nothing official. It's just, hey, here's how I do it. Here's how a lot of my buddies do it. It's going to get you really close, you know, within probably half an inch to an inch. And you're going to know, uh, you know, what your uh, antler scores or what your deer scores. So let's get into it. Here are some of the things that you need to score an antler. So we'll start. You're going to need a, a notepad. Pin to write on your notepad. I like to use kind of a heavy string. You can use a, a yarn or a thread, or I've, a, you know, we've used a wire when we were in a pinch or whatever. But the big thing is, is something that's flexible, easy to bend, and something that does not stretch. Don't want you cheating and getting any extra eighths of an inch or anything like that. So after you got your string, tape measure. I've also seen people use those little like uh, seamstress sewing bendy, uh, tapes those work well uh, too I feel like this gets you a little bit closer though so uh, yeah we'll stretch out our tape here and we'll get after it let's go over the basic anatomy of an antler first this is going to help you understand what I'm talking about and help you score your antler so here we have a basic five side five side meaning it's got five points this starting at your base Wrapping around out to this point, this is your main beam. The main main beam, your tines come off your main beam, and then we've got our brow tine, eye guard, lots of different names for it, but this is your G1. G1, G2, G3, G4. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. So after you've got your main beam, all your tines, then you're gonna get four C measurements. It doesn't matter if your antler is has you know five points, four points, three points. If you're scoring a six, you still get four C measurements, four mass measurements. And those start right here. They start between your base and your G1. You're gonna wrap your, your thread or your yarn or your tape or whatever you got around right here and measure how big around that is. You see one. C2 between your G1 and your G2, between your G2 and your G3, you're going to have your C3, and then between your G3 and your G4, in this case, on this antler, that's where your last mash measurement is going to be, your, your uh, C4. So on a four-point side, you're going to have a measurement here for C1, measurement here, C2, measurement here, C3, and you're going to go out here, about halfway, C4. That's the, just the basic overview of how you score an antler. Um, we'll go over extra or abnormal points at the end of this, and we'll break down some of the little uh, pain in the neck math stuff that has to do with fractions. But for now, let's get started uh, measuring. So, got my tape pulled out here, got my thread. We're gonna start with the main beam. I like to tie a little knot in my thread or whatever because I can hold down here, I can feel this knot and it gives me a good point to, to start with and end with. So, going to put my knot, pinch my knot against right there at the, the end of the base and start working my way up the outside of the antler. Just a couple inches at a time, holding it with one thumb, grabbing it with the next. That way we're getting as close as possible to the true measurement of this main beam. Pinch it off right there at the end. Pretty dang close. And now we lay this on our tape. Put the knot right at the end there. And we got just I'm going to give it 23. We're just over, just a hair over the 23 line, but we're going to be conservative 
and say a 23 inch main beam. That's a good main beam. So from there, we look at our paper, we're going to our G1. G1 right here. When you're measuring your tines, what you want to do, and what some guys do is they use a pencil or tape to do this, but basically to know where to begin, you know, you, you can't measure it from down here, you know, you don't want to measure it from up here. To know where to start your measurement, you draw an invisible line along the main beam coming up, and just as if that tine was not there, you know. So cover that up. You, you know, some guys do, they wrap their string around this or their tape and they kind of draw a line there with a the pencil. So you can do that. I just like, I've done it enough and I just, I'm, a, I'm trying to get close. I'm not trying to, you know, win any awards here. So I'm going to put my knot right about where I, I think that is and start measuring. We're going to start with our G1. Pretend to like. This tine isn't here, drawing a line up of our up our main beam there. I'm getting close. So put that there. Stretch that up. What do we got? I'm gonna give it two and three eighths. Two and three eighths. Okay, moving on to our G2. Pretend like that line is there. Blocking off this tine. We're gonna get close. We're within a couple eighths there, if, if, if even that far. And we'll measure it. All right. I'm gonna give that right at nine and a half, so nine and four eighths. Antlers are measured in eighths. Don't ask me why. I think they wanted to make math hard, but that's how they're done. Here's your G3. Pretend that it's not there. Kind of draw an invisible line. Lay your knot of your tape on there and measure up. It's a good G3 on this antler. It's one of my favorite antlers. It's just a clean five by right at 10 inches. Move on to our G4 now. Lay that on there. Go up. Oh, I'm just gonna take two. Pinch it down. Get your thumb up. Get it right there. Good deal. And just shy of six. So we're say five and seven eighths. All right. So now we've measured all of our tines. We're going to go to our mass measurements, our C measurements. So starting here, you're supposed to do these in, in between in the smallest spot that you can find. So, you know, you can't wrap it around, you know, way up here and get, you know, an extra half inch and you can't use these little, you know, nubs or some antlers have extra points. You can't wrap it around those. You have to, you know, kind of, you want to be conservative, you want to be honest, you want to know what this deer actually scores. So we're going to wrap that around, feel for our knot there, and that's close enough. Our knot down, we're going to say four and two eighths for our base. I'm going to find the middle of the main beam right here. There's not a lot of, you know, extra junk or anything, so I'm just going to go right there in the middle. I'm going to lay, lay that down, pull around, pinch it at the knot. Okay, and we're right at four. So we lost two eighths. That's normal. Usually, generally, on most antler shapes, you're going to lose just a little bit of mass as you go up. The better they carry it, the better the score. You'll hear people say that, oh, he carries his mass. That's what they're talking about right here. Um, wrap that around. Feel for your knot. Oh, I'm going to give him three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Our last measurement. Yay. Here we go. Right in the middle. 
This antler is very typical, so it makes it easy to score. Feel for the knot at the end of the tape. Three and ooh. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be conservative and say three and three eighths. It was almost a half inch, but okay. So that is all of our measurements right there for that antler. What we can do now, grab out our phones. Let's face it, no one really uses calculators anymore because we have our phones. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to add our whole numbers here. So we have 23 for our main beam plus 2 plus 9 plus 10 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3. So we come up with 63 inches. So we're going to write 63. That's our whole number. Now we're going to add our, our eighths over here. And this can get a little tricky, but as long as you get close, who cares? We're not, uh, we're not doing this at the fair. It's, it's fine. So what we've got here is a little chart. And you can do this too. 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, so on. So 1 8 is 0 0.125, 2 8 is a quarter, 3 8 is 3.75, and so on, on down. You can copy this down, you can look this up, or whatever. If you're, you know, if you're like me and bad at math, you need a little help here. So let's go ahead and add up our 8s, and then we'll convert them with our chart. So we're going to say 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 2 plus 7 plus three. So we end up with 26 eighths. So we divide 26 by eight and that gives us 3.25. So we have three whole inches, 0.25. We look over here, 0.25 is two eighths. So we're gonna add this 63 plus three, 66, and then we said 0.25 equals 2 eighths and 2 eighths. So that is a gross, rough score of this antler. Um, you know, like I said, this isn't Boone and Crockett. This isn't Pope and Young. This is, hey, I want to know what my antler scores that I found today and bet with my buddies, you know, all in good fun. Um, and so yeah, that's a basic understanding of how to do it. Um, real quick, let's go over an antler with abnormal points. So to be an abnormal point, it has to be at least an inch. These would be extra points. Here we got some kickers off the back, this little guy here coming off the front. Um, so once you have this, uh, you know, your basic uh, chart written down to score it then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna add your abnormals so you know you'd have your normal tines and then you know a B or however you want to abbreviate it a B1 a B2 and then you're gonna go ahead you're gonna score you're gonna measure these points and add them into the score so that's it for today that's a basic understanding of, of how to score an antler um, it, like I said, it's, it's mid January. It's getting to be that good time. Hopefully going to go out and do uh, a little shed hunt, maybe this weekend, maybe the next couple days. So I'll be dragging the cameras with me, filming that for kind of a blog style, uh, shed hunt. So be sure to stay tuned into that. Hit like and subscribe. You'll know when we put up videos. So you may notice I'm wearing my antler authority hoodie, my antler authority hat. Go check us out on Instagram at Antler Authority, uh, Facebook Antler Authority, www.antlerauthority.com. You can find all of our stuff there, hoodies, hats. We got, these are our new mesh back hats. We got flex fit hats, they're pretty sweet. Uh, we got a couple different options for hoodies uh, on there. Uh, all of our stuff is printed on badass material, nothing cheap. You're gonna get this stuff, you're gonna like it and wanna wear it. I hate getting ordering t-shirts and get them and it's like I don't even want to wear this so yeah this is all awesome stuff all blended it won't shrink when you put it in the dryer uh, we got koozies stickers check it out guys I appreciate it good luck out there
www.com, antlerauthority.com. What the hell? Okay. <laughs>